Hello everyone, welcome to Hand and Lock YouTube channel. My name is Juliette, I'm head embroiderer here at Hand and Lock. Today I'm going to show you how to frame uh, for gold work piece basically. There is different, slightly different way of framing in function of what technique you're going to use. So first I'm going to show you what you need. You need a piece of fabric, some pearl cotton, a big needle, some pins, then me, I use a thimble uh, when I stitch. And then I will need some ribbon, but that's going to be for the second part. Uh, first of all, you have to make sure that the fabric is cut uh, as a rectangle or square. Then when this is done, you have to fold it and then mark the fold. Then you can add a pin. Actually, try to add it two times. It's more stable. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I close it, fold it, and then I mark by pinching it. I can mark the fold. And then I can add my pin. All right. So it should look like this. So I've marked the center on both of the long sides. Then now, we're gonna have to attach it to the frame. And then I already marked the center on my frame. Then for the next, you know, um, piece I wanna frame, it's already marked, I don't have to calculate again. And that's gonna help us to center the piece in the frame. You have to place it on the inside and line up the center with the pin, the center of the frame, so the mark and then edge against the edge and then I'm gonna pin. I'm gonna pin approximately a centimeter down, very horizontal to the actual line of my twill ribbon. When this is done, I can actually remove this one and just start pinning along the line, about eight centimeters in between each pins and just make sure that the end has a pin. So make sure that is not too much pulled, but also that there is not a little um, excess of fabric. Now you have to do exactly the same on the other side. All right, when it's pinned, now you can stitch it. Good. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna calculate, just to make sure I have enough, three length of the actual length of the fabric. Then you thread the needle. a knot. So I'm gonna start about five centimeters inside the frame here, so from the edge, about five centimeters. And then I'm gonna start stitching about a centimeter in between each stitches and trying of course to be as straight as, straight as you can onto your fabric. And at the end, you just do one or two stitches on top of each other. Same line, about five centimeters in. You see, 
and you actually don't need to do any knots. So that's what it should look like at the end. And now you can do the other side. So now we're gonna have to put the tension onto the frame. I'm gonna need four nails. And then after I'm gonna measure if this gap and this gap is the same. I can already see this is slightly smaller. So it's 17 centimeters and here it's 18.5 so it's actually still bigger so sometimes i just have to release a bit of tension from that side and put some back in on here so that's 18 now and that should be 18 so that's perfect so now i need some ribbons my personal favorite is to get all bed sheets cotton and just cut stripe of it it's because they have kind of a little stretch to it and i think it's quite nice basically this way of framing is a bit of a mix between uh what we call the parisian way so you're gonna see that's how i do the side but then what i just showed you for the stitches that was more um, a traditional gold work way of uh, framing now i'm gonna use the pin I'm gonna start like this because I want the first pin, all the pins to be actually covered. So I'm gonna go through the fabric. I'm about a centimeter in or half an inch. And I'm gonna go in the fabric one and twice. So that's very important because then when you're gonna pull, you see how it holds the fabric a bit better. I'm gonna grab from underneath, okay? From here, you pull slightly. So what I do is I look at the pin and when I see it's kind of stretchy, I hold, grab a pin and go once, twice. And now on this side, you can pull slightly more because you already have one side that is done. And if I want the, the tension of, of the fabric to be very tight, I will have each of my ribbon basically laying next to each other. If I'm framing something a bit more delicate, but maybe I will show that a bit um, more in the framing for timber beading. That you can space them. And that will help release a bit of tension. And then the last one. The last one is always a bit tricky because you don't have a lot of room. And that's it. You framed a piece of fabric for gold work. Your turn now.